Hey guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to season two of Hertzberger TV. I'm so excited to get started on a new season. The first season was amazing with tutorials and great mystery guests. And this year, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but better and bigger. So get ready, because welcome to season two. So this week's first tutorial is going to be the slap shot. The slap shot is a scoring technique which you can use if you don't have a lot of time. If you practice it well you can get good power and you can surprise goalkeepers. So the slap shot. In ice hockey the slap shot is a very normal technique to use. However in field hockey we don't use it that often. It's kind of old school but if you learn how to do it it can be very useful in front of the goal to surprise goalkeepers. So first of all how do you hold your hands? Your hands need to be far apart, nearly towards the bottom of the grip. Second of all, the backswing is very important. In a normal sweep or a pass, the backswing is usually around over the ground. With the slap shot, it's in the air. So you've got your hands separated, your backswing is about here, you step out with left, and then you try and get as much power as you can and get under the ball. So with the slap shot, it's really important to get good contact with the ball. And unlike a drag flick, the contact on the stick is quite long and then you release. However, with a slap shot, what you're trying to do is you're trying to open your stick a little bit. You're trying to get really short contact with the ball, but right at the bottom in the neck of the ball. If you get it there, you can get maximum power and the ball will shoot off your stick and hopefully go into the air a little bit. Let me show you. So to practice the slap shot, it's important to just to practice, practice, practice and do as many balls as you can. So line up five balls, try and get five to go in correctly from a static position. So when it comes to getting power, the slap shot is a little bit different than a normal flick on goal. Because with a normal flick on goal, like a penalty stroke for example, you're coming from under and you're pushing the ball. In this case, with the slap shot, you're pushing your right elbow out to get more power from your right arm. You approach the ball and with impact, you can see that my elbow is more out compared to a normal flick where it's more in. So you come to the ball, you put your right elbow behind your stick to get more power. So once you get the hang of the technique, you can start thinking about how to use it in a game. So for example, you're coming in from the right side, inside, and then all of a sudden, you try and surprise the goalkeeper with a quick slap shot. One extra thing that's important with the slap shot is that when you do the slap shot while moving is that it's more of a hip movement and you're trying to get power from your hip. So for example, if you're coming in over the left from here, you're going to need a lot of rotation with your hip to get power. So coming in from the left, you want to surprise the goalkeeper, rotate your hip. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see other videos, check out my channel. And if you have any new ideas, new cool ideas, 
Don't forget to send me a message on Instagram or just reply in the videos below.